What's going on everybody, Josh Pocock here, and in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a free open source alternative to tools like Bolts.new, v0.dev. This tool is called E2B Fragments, and this tool will allow you to build beautiful UI components right in your browser. You won't have to code, you can literally just prompt it with the English language. I'm going to show you I can use this, as well as self-host this and you're going to be able to use it with any sort of model such as open ai's models uh anthropics models we covered a previous version of this tool on this channel a while ago but now they got a new updated version that's even better let's dive right into it All right, guys, so we've covered a lot of different tools recently. The other day we covered Bolt.new, which is a new open source um, tool that kind of has a new paradigm for building uh, and coding in your browser. All right, it has like a VS Code type interface. I would definitely recommend checking that video out. I'll leave it linked down below. Now we've also talked about OpenAI's new Canvas, right, where it kind of has a few new cool features as well, such as being able to port your languages and, um, you know, add comments and a has a really nice interface, kind of similar in in a way to artifacts, you know, and then we have Quad Artifacts, right? So there's all these different types of tools and I think they all have their different pros and cons and the same thing goes for E2B Fragments, all right? So this is the company E2B and the tool is called Fragments. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Now, currently there is a cloud-based version and a self-hosted version, okay? So I'm gonna show you both in today's video. First things first though, I wanna to touch on the cloud-based version. Now, usually I focus more on the uh, open source version, but the cloud-based version, at least right now, is pretty damn cool because um, they let you run this for absolutely free. And you know, you're not just getting like GPT 3.5 or anything like that. You actually have access to OpenAI's O1 Preview, O1 Mini, GPT 4.0, GPT 4 Mini, Turbo, Claude Sonnet, you know, all the different models here that you can see, like really they're not holding back when it comes to these, this model selection and you can access this for free, no API key, you just sign up and you're good to go. So I'll go ahead and kind of show you if you're not familiar with E2B, we did a video on this tool a while ago. Um, it was E2B Artifacts, but this is the new and improved Fragments version, okay? So, so I actually saw the CEO tweet this out a few days ago on October 3rd. You can see here, Introducing Fragments by E2B Dev. Fragments is a fully open source Next.js template for building apps that are fully generated by AI. It supports AI-generated apps with frameworks like Next.js, Radio, Stream, uh, Streamlit, Vue.js, or your completely custom stack with custom libraries powered by E2B's sandbox, and then link to code and comments. All right, so even in tools like V0, we've been seeing a lot of different updates. I haven't even really talked about some of them uh, lately, right? Because there's been so many other tools like, um, you know, Bolt and all these other tools, but we're seeing all these different upgrades and iterations and sort of like how we're seeing in the AI IDE space with tools like Cursor, Pair AI, Meltly, uh, Super Maven, all the, well, Super Maven's coming out with their own ID, but it's like the IDE AI race. We're seeing the same thing with whatever you want to call these type of tools, like browser-based, artifact type AI um, coding tools, right? So, uh, and I see that, like I said before, there's some pros and cons to each. I think a few cool things that Fragments has, for example, is some customization. So we have Persona here, so you can choose auto, Python Data Analyst, Next.js Developer, Vue.js Developer, Streamlit Developer, Gradio Developer, and then you can go to, yeah, your models here, select whatever model you choose. You can also go to LLM settings and you can choose like Output Token, Temperature, Top P, Top K, Frequency Penalty, Presence Penalty, all that good stuff. You can also upload an image as well. So I think it's really cool that you can customize the persona right here. I think it would be cool if you, like, you could maybe add your custom personas, but I think this is a feature that we will see more of, whether that's, you know, pers called personas or agents, whatever you want to call it. I think it's definitely something that, uh, that more companies will be doing. Okay, so I'm actually going to upload this image right here. This is an image of the chat GPT user interface, and I'm just going to go ahead and say create this. All right, so as you can see, it's generating right here. So 
To create this fragment, I'll follow a few steps, set up basics, ne basic next JS component structure, create center layout with logo at top, design a grid with four cards, etc., etc. You can see here. Now we can see the code right here that it's generating, and then we can also see the preview. So very, very similar uh, to something like Claude Artifacts and it uses E2B Sandbox. Now, we can see here it didn't get it perfect by any means. It's missing the sidebar, so I'm gonna go ahead and say, don't forget these, don't forget the sidebar. Okay, boom, and we can see we got the sidebar here, and it even uh, works, and it has like a pretty cool, um, it's actually pretty decent, you know, for first iteration, well, second iteration. I could tell it to add the chat box too down here, but, uh, we don't need it to be perfect. You could deploy to E2B right here. So um, deploying a fragment makes it publicly uh, accessible to others via the link. You could accept and deploy it, or you could just take the code here, put it into your IDE. And keep in mind, guys, we're using Claude Sonnet 3.5 right now. So this is really good just because obviously it's a lot faster than O1 and O1 Mini, but you can use these premium models right now on E2B fragments and I mean, there's probably some sort of rate limit, I would assume. I personally haven't reached it yet, but, you know, as more people maybe start using it, maybe they'll rate limit a bit. But as of now, it is 100% free. You don't need to bring your own API key. Um, and it's I think it's pretty cool that you can do that. Now, like I said before, there also is an open source version. So here is the GitHub repo for the open source version of this tool. Now, to actually get this set up, all you're going to do is git clone the repo right here. So it actually has the instructions right here. So you're going to run git clone in your terminal. Once that clones, you're going to CD into fragments. Okay. And then you're just going to run npm i. Okay. That's going to install the dependencies. Are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away? Imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock. No more wasted time on training, no more frustration with performance, and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers. Introducing Stride Agents, AI-powered appointment setters that work 24-7, never get tired, and book appointments while you sleep. Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents. Once the dependencies install, you can run code space dot or just like open up the um the repo into your code editor all right that's going to open this up then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a copy of the environment dot template file right here so you can see here i just made one and it's called dot environment dot env dot local and these are the environment variables that I'm using. There also are other ones. Like you can see here, they give you an example right here with many different environment variables. Like you can add your Mistral API key, your Google AI API key, your Together AI API key, Brock, Anthropic, many different models. Um, you are going to need an E2B API key though for this, um, for the uh, self-hosted version. So you can go to e2b.com. And you can get it for free by just signing up for an account. I believe um, you get, a, I don't know if it's credits or whatnot. Like if I go to usage here, um, I think it, they give you a certain amount of free credits. I personally haven't reached a limit yet. So um, yeah, you can get this for free and access it, but you will be using your API key. And then once you actually set those environment variables, so I just set the OpenAI API key, the Anthropic API key, and the E2B API key. You're just going to want to save that. And then you're just going to run npm run dev to start the development server. It's npm run build to build the web app, but we're going to run npm run dev. All right. And that's going to start fragments on local host port 3000. I just have that port occupied right now, as well as 3001. So I'm on 3002. But as you can see here, we got... Uh, E2B loaded up here. All right, so I'm choosing the Next.js developer and I'm just saying, please make a modern professional task manager app. All right, so as you can see here, we got our basic task manager app here. I can put test, add task. 
very basic you could obviously improve upon this iterate upon this we got the code right here so we could copy and paste it or deploy it or download it whatever you choose and that's pretty much it guys that is e2b fragments i think this is a cool tool and i really just wanted to show you guys this because i just covered bolts i just covered canvas we've always covered flawed artifacts and i think this is just you know adding to the iterations we're seeing all these tools they're going to be continuously improving um i think what we saw with bolts is pr a pretty cool concept um, if you haven't saw that video like i said check it out down below it's a pretty new tool but i think it's just a little bit slow it needs to work out some of the kinks i think this one's pretty good this is like the version two of e2b's um tool you know artifacts and fragments and it's pretty fast pretty good you can use multiple different models and it's it works pretty well let me know in the comments down below what your favorite in browser type of ai code uh pair programmer is whether that's claude artifacts uh do you like open ai canvas you like v0 bolts or maybe even fragments if you've already tried it that's pretty much it for this video guys i just wanted to give you a quick update on this tool if you're new to the channel we upload videos every single day on ai automation ai coding business growth marketing sales etc i got a couple of really cool videos i've been working on that i'm excited for you guys to see coming up shortly I was just working on one for the last few hours before this one so if you're new to the channel and you like this type of content, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to stay up to date with the daily uploads. Also too, guys, if you haven't already joined our free community, strivecommunity.com, our free Facebook group and Discord channel, check that out down below. And then also too, guys, if you do run a business and you have like a call center, or you have a bunch of leads or appointment setters that you're paying for, and you want to automate that with AI, check out strideagents.com where we'll help you set up AI agent appointment setters that will book appointments for you around the clock 24 seven for one tenth the cost of like actual call center. Other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.